Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and on the podcast last week, we had a really brilliant uh, community tip from Nando, who said, uh, when recording voiceovers, it's sometimes handy to make a selection that you want to delete whilst you're recording. So what he does is he uses an audio track under the recording channel. And so I'm going to take you through the little tip and trick that he uses. So here we have a recording channel. So if I now put this into record, and so now you can see my voice that I'm speaking now being recorded on this track. And what he suggests we do is when you make a mistake, so you make a fluff, and then you pick up again, what he suggests is you make highlight a selection on a blank audio track underneath and then press command alt and g so that will be control alt and g on a windows machine and then the next time somebody makes a mistake you can then do the same thing when i'm recording a voiceover what i do is i hit a marker and then when I'm happy and things are going again, so when you do the pickup, say from here, I put another marker. And so what I can now do is to go uh, one period one, which now takes the cursor to my marker one, hold the shift key down, go period to period, that highlights that selection. Now I can use Nando's shortcut, command alt G, and there is my markers. So when you finish recording, what you're highlighting here are the things that you want to get rid of, the things, the rubbish, the mistakes, the fluffs, the gaps in between. And so now, of course, if I highlight these, then it's also highlighting the space in between. So the trick is to go into the grab a tool option and select the object. So now I can select that one, and when I hold the shift key down, it selects that, but it doesn't select the space in between. Then what I can do is holding down the control key on a Mac to stop these moving sideways, drag those up onto my record track, because these are going to drop over the spaces, the rubbish, the bits that I don't want. Now, if I go into shuffle, you can see that Pro Tools won't let me go into shuffle when the object grabber is selected. So, okay. So what we do now is to go in, go back to the normal time selection. These are still all highlighted. And so in shuffle, all I need to do is to hit the delete key, all the rubbish disappears, and all the edits all butt up. Now, of course, you'll almost certainly have to go in and do a bit of fine tweaking on those edits to make sure they're exactly right, because you'll have done a visual selection on this track down here. But basically, everything is shuffled together. You know where the edits are because you can see them. So you can just go in, tidy up the edits. It's so much quicker. So thanks, Nando. Brilliant idea. And that's how you can use the tip that we shared on the NAM special podcast last week. Take care, and I'll see you soon.